today, we're asking people how the beginning of their school year has started off so far. It's been great. A fun experience. It's been boring. <laughs> Terrible. Um, dramatic. Amazing. 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 Okay. Not stressful. Okay. Rough. The food is fun. Terrible. Chill. I'm tiring. Fun. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I'm living in a high school musical right now, man. I love it. Hey, come tune in to Brownsburg football games. Watch look out for number two. Hello Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, August 22nd. I'm Haley Stewart. And I'm Addison Yarnell. And here's what's going on at BHS. It's Riley Week here at BCSC. Riley shirts are on sale at DECA store for $12. All profits will be added to our Friday night total collected for Riley Children's Hospital. Get yours while they last. This week's spirit days are as followed. Please keep in mind you need to dress appropriately and follow the school's expectations. The Leaders of Tomorrow Club is having a call-out meeting for anyone interested in participating in this year's culture fair. The meeting will take place in the LGI room on Thursday, August 25th after school. This is the only call-out meeting for the culture fair. Students will be able to sign up for a booth at the meeting. All slots are first come, first served. Students will be given expectations and deadline dates as well. If you have any questions, please talk to Cecilia Opoku or Marin Woods for, or one of the other LOT leaders. The Equality Alliance will be meeting after school tomorrow, Tuesday, August 23rd, until 4 p.m. That meeting will take place in room C2317. All are welcome to join. The nationally recognized Sound of Brownsburg Marching Band is looking to add a small group of dancers to their 2022 competitive show. If you have dance experience and are interested in performing and competing with the marching band, they can use you. Auditions will be held on Thursday, August 25th from 3 to 4.30 in the multi-purpose room, right by door 16. The staff will provide auditionees with season schedules and calendars at that time. You can now pre-order the new homecoming merch. The designs can be printed on t-shirts, hoodies, crewnecks, and long sleeves. Scan the QR code to pre-order now. Clothing will be handed out on Monday, September 19th. The game will be on Friday the 23rd. Are you concerned with issues that women face? Do you want to make an impact on gender equality in your community? Come join the Women's Rights Club, a club to advocate, promote, and learn about women's rights. Anyone is welcome to join bi-weekly meetings at 7.10 a.m. in Ms. Wisely's room, A2419. The next meeting will be Wednesday, August 24th. All are welcome and they hope to see you there. For more information, email bbergwrc at yahoo.com. The D&D &D Club is looking for dungeon masters or game masters willing to run games of any system. Experience is not required, but enthusiasm is. If you are willing and interested, please fill out the form by scanning the QR code or contact Amy Bingaman with any questions. Please note that this is not an application for players. Only serious inquiries will be reviewed. DECA will have their first call-out meeting tomorrow, August 23rd. You can join them in Mrs. Sablehouse's room, B1305, at either 7.15 a.m. or 3 p.m. You only need to attend one of the meetings if you are interested in joining. The Philosophy Group will be meeting this Thursday, August 25th, after school until 3.45. That meeting will take place in Mr. Sloan's room, B1409, and you can see Mr. Sloan for more info. The Spanish Club will be meeting on Tuesday, August 30th, after school until 3.45. That meeting will also be in Senior Sloan's room, B1409. Please see Senior Sloan for more information. Chess Club. It's that time of year again. Starting today, Chess Club will be held each Friday right after school in Mr. Dahlstrom's room, B2311. If you're looking for a place to hang out with friends or just want to blow off some steam, come join them. Chess Club is a non-competitive. They play just for fun. They happily welcome all people, no matter your experience. They also specialize in teaching new players. Be sure to check it out, mate. The German Club will have their first meeting today, Monday, August 22nd, from 3 to 3.45 in Frau Steed's room, B1429. They are going to be discussing German good luck symbols. Please see Frau Kella for more information. This week is Riley Week in Brownsburg Schools. BHS TV's Elena Holtz got the scoop on this important week for BCSC. Hey guys, it's me Elena. So BHS has a tradition of Riley Week and this year we're going to be talking to some spirit coordinators on updates and information on the week because we do it differently every single year. It celebrates Riley Week because we have a huge football game and we raise money for the kids at Riley. You know, participating in the Spirit Week, we have a very um, nice and well thought out Spirit Week. We have um, for Monday we have uh, Future Self and then for Tuesday we have hat day followed by pajama day then barbecue dads for soccer moms and then of course friday is red out for riley um, so that's how we celebrate 
This Friday is the big red out game against Cathedral at 7. Make sure you guys come out in all red. You can also purchase Riley shirts at the DECA store for $12 during all lunches. Uh, we celebrate Riley Week to um, help raise money and give good donations to the Riley Hospital because there are kids that are in need of uh, donations and that's like something we can do as a community. I like support kids that are sick in hospitals and that aren't able to do like regular kids stuff that we're able to do every day. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed what the spirit coordinators had to say. And remember to donate because it is not only about the spirit week, it's also about the children. Um, yeah, Elena holds BHS TV. Thanks Elena. Make sure to donate and show your spirit this week. Now it's time for sports. Hey Christian, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, another very busy weekend is now in the books for our fall athletes. Let's get things started with the football team who traveled to Ben Davis on Friday night. And that game went down to the final seconds. The Dogs were able to hang on for a 21-16 win over the Giants. After trailing 6-0 early in the game, the Dogs came out and th scored three touchdowns to answer for the first half. Jaden Whitaker had a pair of quarterback scrambles that found the end zone. And Whitaker connected with Corey Smith, who broke a couple of tackles and took it 44 yards to the end zone. The Dogs' defense was impressive and gave up only one more score in the second half. Michael Williams had an interception in the game, and Eric Richardson deflected a pass that sealed the victory for the Dogs. Next up is Cathedral at home this Friday. Good luck, guys. The JV football team defeated the Giants 26-20. J.D. Lynch had two receiving touchdowns on the day, and Jake Dunn had a great day at quarterback. The defense had four interceptions, and Hunter Childs and Alex Burke each had a pick six. The freshman football team won 48-16. A.J. Job had a 50-yard touchdown run, and Drew Bostick had a 38-yard touchdown pass. Eli Richardson had eight solo tackles, and Preston Devis had some great blocking leading to a score. Both the JV and freshman teams will take on Cathedral next Saturday. And the volleyball teams are back on the court Saturday for a couple of matches. The Dogs took on Floyd Central and earned a 3-1 win. Ella Hemmings played a great all-around match with 24 digs, 2 assists, and an ace. Asa Thomas had 14 digs, 4 block assists, and 3 kills. In the second match, the Dogs took on Brenton Central and earned a 3-0 win. Abby Sollenberger had 9 kills on 15 attempts and finished with 16 blocks. Ava Hollard came off the bench and had a great hitting percentage and also had a block. Morgan Lucas led the team in serves. The Volley Dogs are back in action tonight as they travel to Western Boone. The girls golf team was back on the links on Saturday at a couple different tournaments. The Varsity had a great showing at the Mooresville Invitational. In a two-person team event, the ladies had several outstanding finishes. Maddie Campbell and Brooke Anderson shot a 70 and finished second in the first flight. Anna Sinclair and Ashley Dixon shot a 76 and finished third in the second flight. Brenna Fruits and Adrian Austin shot an 80 and finished second in the third flight. Nice job. JV team won the Mountie Invitational shooting a 346. Lexi Kelly led the dogs with an 85. Bria Walters finished with an 86 and Adeline Sago had an 87. The ladies will travel to Lebanon tomorrow. Good luck. And the girls soccer team hosted Park Tudor on Saturday. The varsity came up just short 2-1. to one. Haley Hoskins had the only dog goal, was assisted by Liz Fisher. The JV team earned a 6-0 win. Zaley Sox had a hat trick with three goals on the match. Parker Littage, Isabel Reyna, Madison Mitchell all had a goal each. Both teams will travel to Tri-West tonight. Good luck. And the cross-country teams got their season underway on Saturday. Scout Newman was the overall race winner. Lucy Tolliver was second place overall. Maya Rowe was third place overall. And Kaylin Trout was fourth place overall. It was a big win in the first meet of the season. Three freshman runners were in the top five. Lots of big improvements already from last season, and they'll be back in action this weekend at the Avon Hokum Carom. The boys also finished on Saturday and were led by Ian Baker, who placed fifth. Rounding out the top five for the Bulldogs were Sergio Kahn in sixth, Brandon Haas in tenth, Trey Krizan in 17th, and Sadarshan Sirenvasan in 19th. The boys will also be at the Avon Hokum Carom this weekend. Good luck. And there'll be a softball call-out meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, August 23rd, after school in Senior Academy, LGI. Please see Coach Hiss for more info. And that's it for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, Christian. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you on Wednesday.